It collects pollution that way, and it's also going to promote native plant growth. A new rain garden is to be installed at Omaha Northwest High School, and yet another garden could be coming. We're going to be putting another one down further um, that will be collecting water from the street. Rachel Burns is a teacher at Northwest. She already uses the school's greenhouse for teaching and plans to put the rain garden to similar use. STEM, science, technology, engineering, and math in this project. There's much more here than just one rain garden at a local high school. Benson West Elementary also got a rain garden earlier this year. Design implementation has been assisted by P16, a service learning initiative from the University of Nebraska at Omaha. There's been hundreds of projects at UNO and they relate virtually to every curriculum area at the university. Um, the, the key thing again is combining the students from UNO and, and, the, and, and typically public schools. Steve Rohde has been teaching at UNO for more than 20 years. He says rain gardens are perfect tools for teaching environmental sustainability. Working with Steve Rohde's students from UNO and what they've been doing is they've been meeting sporadically throughout this last semester. Um, they've been working on designing the rain garden. It's a good fit to combine the curriculum in a class that relates to design process, design principles, native plants, etc. and then actually have the students apply that information in a, in a real project. It's, it's basically just a shallow depression in a landscape that will hold rainwater and allow it to infiltrate into the ground as opposed to running off down the street or, or, or elsewhere in the landscape. Burns says the project is not just for the environment, it's also for the students. It creates more of a pride um, and that's kind of what service learning is about is giving us, the students a chance to have hands-on learning opportunities while also appreciating the community in which they grow up in. For UN Omaha News, I'm Jared Kennedy.